What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we have news from Mido and a new Multifort Patrimony chronograph. And they have just actually released more information on these watches. I had my eye out for something coming from Mido uh, and they've released a few watches and these are the chronographs that they've actually released. These are retro inspired and look really, really good. So according to Mido, beneath the retro exterior of the Multifort Patrimony, resides the latest generation automatic movement, the Caliber 60, which provides this timepiece with up to 60 hours of power reserve. The pulsimeter scale on the edge of the dial and the box sapphire crystal protecting it and the shape of the hour and minute hands are all subtle nods to the past. So we're getting three different versions of this. There will be a silver or a stainless steel case with a black sunburst dial. That's getting sort of red accents on the dial around that minute track. They are all bi-compacts, very retro looking. And as I said, a boxed sapphire crystal, which looks really, really good. Then there's going to be two PVD gold versions. Those are a little bit more expensive than the stainless steel version. Uh, and there's a silver dial for that or a blue sunburst dial. I wish they would come out with the blue sunburst for the stainless steel as well. Buy compacts layouts, as I mentioned, uh, and very, very retro styled, very good looking watches, 42 millimeters. 15.2 millimeters thick. That's because we're getting what essentially is a Valjoux 7750. So this is a thick movement. It is a thick watch, 15.2 millimeters thick. Um, and I said it gets the automatic Mito Caliber 60, which is the ETA A05H31. Kind of weird because on their website, they actually got this wrong. They called it the Caliber 80. Obviously, this is not the Caliber 80 uh, because this is an automatic chronograph movement by Compax Chronograph. Uh, so I actually corrected their work <laughs> and uh, rewrote this, but this is not the Caliber 80, it's Caliber 60. These are coming in for the stainless steel at $2,000. The gold PVD is a little bit more expensive at $2,100. These are on the more expensive side. Certina recently came out with a vintage inspired sort of chronograph as well. It was also a bi-compacts, very good looking watch. Uh, I believe it has a very similar movement to this one as well. Those were in the, or are in the $2,000 to $3,000 range. So these are actually a little less expensive than the Certina, but uh, I think equally as good looking. These are very, very good looking watches. And I really like a bi-compacts layout. I think it adds some symmetry to uh, chronographs, which I really, really like. Very good looking watches uh, and pretty decent price range. On the secondary market, I think these will be a really good bargain. Uh, but anyway, tell me what you think of these watches in the comments below. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. I think they're good looking. Uh, tell me what you guys think. Please also don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon. It's super helpful for the channel and I very much appreciate it. Please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it helps support the channel. It doesn't cost you anything extra. However, I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on. I'll catch you guys in the next video.